Hey, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a MySQL database and connect it to a WordPress application running on AWS LightSail. Alright, so if you're continuing on from my previous videos in the AWS series, you should be good to go. Um, so effectively, all I've done, I've still got my instance here. And what we're going to do is create a database. Now, I've already gone ahead and created one. But effectively, what you're going to want to do is go create database, uh, select MySQL, scroll down. I'm just using the free version. Give your database a name and then create it. And that takes about 15 minutes to actually kick in. Uh, but once it's done, it should look like this, right? Okay, so coming back to the LightSail dashboard, uh, once the database is created, what we're going to want to do is start the import process. So Basically, the data that we're going to be transferring to our SQL database is going to be data related to uh, posts, so like blog posts, uh, user information, and also pages. Um, the MySQL database won't store your plugins as per se, so that's something you're going to need to manage separately outside of this. Okay, so to start the import process, uh, first off, we're going to go to our database that we have created. Just click on it and here we'll see our connection details which we're going to need in a second. Um, in the meantime, let's get a connection to our AWS LightSail instance that we want to uh, connect this database to. So I'm just going to go back to here, open this up in a new tab. And I want to connect this instance here to this database here. So I'm going to go connect by SSH. Okay, so once you're in your SSH session, you're going to want to type out the uh, MySQL data import command, basically. Uh, which is a pretty long one, so we're going to go sudo mysql dump dash u root dash dash databases bitnami wordpress dash dash single transaction dash dash compress dash dash order dash by dash primary uh, we're going to want to then dash p to a dollar parentheses and cat it out this directory here Bitnami application dash password close that parenthesis off there we go uh, dash yep yeah. application password and want to oops, sudo this out. Actually, sorry, I want to pipe this first. Pipe sudo mysql dash u. All right, so now we need to provide the uh, the username for our database, which is back here. So it's db master user. So db master user as a username dash dash host so this is the endpoint which is this one right here should be able to copy this I think we can just paste it in here should be okay yep and then dash dash password so it prompts us for the password cool all right so now you have to enter the password which you can get over here so you just type that in And then if you have no errors or nothing, you didn't stuff up the command, you should just be returned back to this prompt right here. Uh, and that should indicate that you've successfully transferred the, transferred the data. So that's all good. All right, so now that we have our data across to our MySQL database, uh, what we would now need to do is configure our WordPress instance to basically read from this database and continue to write to it as well. So uh, what we need to do now is edit the wp-config.php file, right? So that lives in this directory. So bitnami slash apps slash wordpress htdocs. If you do a ls-al, you can see everything. And this is the file right here that we want to edit basically right uh, before we edit it 
we're going to just take a copy of it just to be safe. So you can do cp-rp, that's what I like to do, or cp-p, which basically means retain the same permissions. Uh, wp config.php to wp config uh, backup.php. Cool, so once you've backed up your file, we can actually go ahead and comfortably now edit the original wp-config.php. So you can go ahead and just use vi or nano to open up the, the, the file and then edit it. I'm just going to use vi, so I'll just go vi wp-config.php. Alright, so I've just gone ahead and made the changes necessary, but I'll just point them out to you to show you what I've done. Um, I've just skip forward so you don't have to see me typing it all out basically. So all we're going to be changing is the DB user to match our username in the database details. Change the password to match up, which is just here. And then you want to change the host name to be this endpoint here. And then once you've done that, just go WQ to right quit it. And that's it. Once you've saved it away, just check it to make sure your changes have successfully gone in with, with a view. I can see there my changes are successful and they're saved. All right, so the last thing we need to do now is just reboot the instance and wait for that to come back up just to make sure that those config changes that we made are gonna take action. And that's basically it. All right guys, so just to summarize what we've done, uh, we've basically now created a new database. Uh, we've imported the data from our Lightsail instance running WordPress into that database. And then we've edited the config on this instance to now further or to continue to write and read from this database. So with this sort of architecture now, what we've got is something like this, right? We've got one WordPress application speaking to one database. But now what you can do is create snapshots and create multiple instances using this snapshot, which will continue to scale out your application till you get something that looks a little bit more like this. So multiple WordPress instances using the one database. So all your users are shared across the single database. In the future, I'll be showing you how we can connect this to a load balancer so you can further scale your applications. I hope you learned something today, guys. If you did, consider subscribing. Thanks, guys.